okay, all right. Yo, what's good? I'm Jungle K. I am a plant enthusiast, content creator, cannabis educator living in Chicago, Illinois. I didn't think that I could, uh, you know, take care of them for myself, you know what I mean? So learning how to actually take care of them for my own and water them and learn about the different ones was definitely like recently, but my granddad had plants and like my mom and dad had plants and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I always had plants around me, but never of my own. So this like recent journey has been figuring out how to take care of them on my own. It's been really fun though. And I've definitely felt like a lot of joy in taking care of my plants and watching them grow and seeing how they react to, you know, the care that I put into it directly. Um, and then you see the parallels in yourself, you know what I mean? Well, if I'm giving this plant, you know, water or X amount of nutrients like this many times a day, Am I making sure that I'm doing that for myself or what is my version of that and how can I apply that and making sure that I'm growing to the best that I can, you know what I mean? Finding peace in the routines of taking care of them has definitely been like a helpful thing, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm a very like routine based person, like after I do something for like a day or two, like I'll tend to do that for a while and if I stop that for a day or two, I'll tend to do that for a little bit until I like make myself get back on it. So, you know, plants has definitely helped out with that. Um, yeah, uh, the more that I've just been like delving into this nature journey and plants and, and growing food and stuff like that, it's it just makes more sense to me that everybody should be able to grow their own type of something, whether it's medicine, whether it's food, um, supplies, you know what I mean? And I think that there definitely needs to be a bigger emphasis on people growing at home as a culture, you know what I mean? Because we have a grocery store culture and we have a farming culture, but you know, people think of the farmers as like the outliers in the land that are like, you know, taking care of these big massive plots, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Like you can get some pots or you can take your flower bed outside and you can grow at home. Like you can grow the things that you enjoy, uh, the medicine that you need. Um, I think it's very important. I think that, you know, being in touch with nature is a part of the human experience and to deprive yourself of that, it would be to not be fully enjoying everything that's around you. And I've been finding that like through my own life in a lot of different ways. Like I'm very, very passionate about music. Uh, I've learned recently that I'm passionate about plants. I'm sure that I'm gonna find new passions later in life. And I hope that I just learn and grow expeditiously from all of them because they all make me feel really great as a person. And, I think that's all that life is about. Just trying to find ways to feel good. <laughs> I started TikTok in November of 2020. I don't remember the date, but I know it was November. <laughs> and I only remember because I specifically like held off of like being on TikTok or interacting with it for whatever reason, just because, you know, I didn't think that I would find it entertaining or anything, but uh, I had a, a sit down with my good friend Tyler and we were talking about music um, and just discussing, you know, how we wanted to move forward with, you know, um, marketing our music, going about music in the best way possible. And he was like, yeah, man, I think you should really get on TikTok and like, you know, just start to see what's up and see what's out there, uh, see if you can build a community on there. And uh, definitely did that. <laughs> Uh, it was faster than I expected, um, but it's been really cool. And it's, it's been mostly about the plant stuff, which has been very fun for me because I really enjoy just talking about plants. And it's also, you know, great for when I am, you know, coming out to release music again, because now I have this group of people who are excited for what I'm about to do. And they haven't even really heard that I make music yet. Like I've been dropping hints there and there, but you know, haven't put on a song in some years, haven't released anything in some years. So I'm excited to get back to it. It's feeling like now. Um, I definitely want my lasting impact on my community to be that people can be inspired to go and do whatever they want, like to the fullest of their capacity, like really be able to learn and be passionate about and share that with other people. I think that that's the thing that I want to share with people the most ultimately, you know, because like, I don't know. For this, this, I mean, I'm very blessed to be where I am right now, to where I can like literally have days where I don't do anything and I can just walk in the park um, and I don't have to worry about work anymore. And 
I really want that for everybody. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody deserves that. I feel like, you know, things in life should be, I feel like everybody should be able to enjoy the things in life. I feel like, you know, people shouldn't necessarily have to worry about bills and things like that all the time. Like if, if it's possible to, to be in a place to where, you know, we can literally just be in a place of leisure and worry about things like, you know, growing food and making sure that we're okay. And then I think that everybody's gonna be a lot better off in the long run. Like I, I've been very anti-work lately, <laughs> quote unquote. I mean, like, I understand that like, you know, things have to happen and the economy has to happen. But to that degree, people who want to do things are gonna do things because they want to do them. So let's take like space travel, for instance. If nobody is gonna pay anybody to, you know, build a rocket or go to space, the people that want to build rockets and go to space are gonna do that because that's what they wanna do. You know what I mean? And communities are gonna build around that because that's what they wanna do. And to that same degree, I feel like people should find what they truly love and are passionate about and be able to do that to their fullest degree um, and just be like happy. I think I definitely need to like learn some more before I can like call myself a farmer just because of like, I have homies that are farmers that I see like out on the farm doing farm work and it's not like no light stuff, you know what I mean? Like I definitely had a romanticized version of like, you know, moving out on my own and like starting my own farm and XYZ and I still definitely like have dreams to do that, but I'm very much so now like thinking about the work that's going into that like actually walking those acres each day and putting in those like that that elbow grease you know what i mean like all that is real um i can okay, say that okay. i'm an urban like you know gardener uh planter but i just think that i'm a, I'm a plant enthusiast like that's literally all i am I, I really like plants you know what i mean i'm a person that really likes plants cares about plants wants to learn more about plants teach people about plants and you know that's what it is